welcome back. We are in the kitchen and we're talking all about those big giant pretzels. The manly baker, Matthew Trone, is in studio. Hey, good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a little bit. It has, right? It's nice to be back. Pandemic, all that, you, you survived. Yep. We're here. Yeah, barely, but we made it. <laughs> barely, but we're all here together. So, okay, first things first, just tell them a little bit about yourself and then we'll get into the pretzels. Uh, so, yeah, I'm the Manly Baker. I teach baking classes. I do them on Zoom or I can come to a location, bring all, all the materials, everything we need and come to your house um, and and teach it right in your house. So fun. Okay, now these pretzels, I mean, uh, honestly, like you think about baseball games and going to the amusement park, that's where you grab them. But if you wanna make them at home, this is a perfect way to do it. Yeah, definitely. They're so quick and easy, lots of fun. Um, so we're gonna show you how to do them today. Okay, so the dough, you've already made it. Yeah, so we've made the dough, we'll post that recipe. Um, we wanna just knead it together until it comes nice and elastic. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And then we're gonna plop it out on the counter um, okay. after we let it rise for about 15 or 20 minutes. Go ahead and plop that on down. Um, and then I'll show you how we're going to shape those pretzels. Is there anything about your dough recipe that's different than another one or is it pretty standard kind of a thing? It's a pretty standard okay. pretzel recipe. Um, yeah, it's an enriched dough, um, which just means it has some sugar in it and some different things besides just flour, water, and salt. Okay. What does the sugar do to the dough? Um, it makes it a little bit sweeter and also gives something for the yeast to be able to feed on. Okay. Cool. Um, so once we plop it out, we're going to cut them into some logs uh -huh. and then I'll take one of these and get these out of the way. Okay. Um, and then we're going to roll it out um, to about two feet long roughly and about fingertip diameter all the way through. Got it. I feel like this is going to be the tricky part, actually making it look good. It is, but I'll show you. It's honestly not too easy and I have an easy way to remember how to do it. Oh, okay. So I once like we it. get it about two feet long, about fingertip yes. diameter, we're going to make it into a big U. Okay. Because go Utes. Hello. I like it. Make the U into a fish. Okay. Twist the fish's tail, and then pull it down. Uh huh. And then we can kind of wow. adjust it as we need to and fix it that way. Well, okay. You um, just made my pretzel a whole lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So once we get that, um, uh -huh. we have some simmering baking soda water here. We're gonna plop it on down and put it in there for about 30 mm -hmm. seconds. Um, and this is really what distinguishes pretzels from breadsticks or from other similar bread things. Um, and that's what gives it that distinct shine and the distinct pretzel flavor. Is the baking um, soda uh -huh. in there? Oh, is that baking okay. soda water. Yeah, we give it that alkaline bath. After about 30 seconds, mm -hmm. we're gonna scoop it out. Easy enough. Yep, put it onto our cookie sheet and then just sprinkle with a little bit of coarse salt while it's still wet. And then pop it into the oven for how long? Uh, so about 12, like 10 to 14 minutes, depending on how fast your oven cooks at 400 degrees. Fantastic. Um, pretty much, you don't have to worry about them being done in the middle, um, just how brown you want them on the outside, and that's when you're ready to take them out. Okay, easy enough. Well, we are going to be finishing the pretzels coming up, and of course, we're going to post the dough recipe on our website. You can go to fox13now.com. Click on the place if they want to follow you on Instagram, they can do so how? Uh, just follow me, The Manly Baker is my tag. It's a good name, right? Thanks, Matt. We'll see you in just a bit. Okay, sounds good.